Hi, Trenda here with another Costco haul. Thank you for joining me today. I went to Costco. I spent $2.75. The only thing that is not pictured is I did buy a case of the gallon water jugs. It is six to a case. I use that to fill up my coffee maker. So I like to have those. And let me get into it and I will show you what I got. So we love these Kirkland beef hot dogs. They are delicious. So I usually keep one out for lunches and stuff and then um, throw the other two in the freezer. Costco by far has the best deal on real maple syrup and this one is even organic. We use this obviously for things like pancakes and waffles, but I also use it for a sweetener in a lot of things, so we go through it. The good thing about maple syrup is when you are using it on your pancakes or waffles, I feel like you only need a little bit to go a long way, so it's a really good deal. So I like to always have a backup in my pantry, so this is going to be the backup. And speaking of backup, I don't even need ketchup right now. I have some in my pantry, but they were $2 off. So I went ahead and picked up a two-pack of their organic ketchup. And these are 2 pounds and 12 ounces. They're huge bottles. But we are big ketchup fans, so we definitely go through that. They had two pounds of the organic strawberries for six dollars, so three dollars a pound. It wasn't an amazing deal, but my three-year-old has been asking for strawberries because we've been out for a few days. So I was there. I didn't want to stop at another store, so I just went ahead and picked them up. Really, in the summer is the only time they are super affordable, so I just picked them up all summer long. Delicious. And this, don't mind, I had to put it in a bag because these always, I don't know why, leak water from these. But this is five pounds of the organic cut and peeled baby carrots. My kids love these. It's a great snack. It's They just love to eat them raw, not even with dip or anything. And um, I personally love them to dip in hummus or any kind of dip or just snack on myself. So... This is our most used vegetable, I would say, in the house out of everything. I was kind of disappointed today with their fruit and vegetable selection. So this is all I ended up picking up for fruits and veggies. Well, actually, I picked up a watermelon. I'll show you in a minute. I forgot about that. So I am going to be having to go to Sprouts or Aldi or something to pick up a few more things, definitely. But I did pick up this Idell's Pineapple and Bacon Smoked Chicken Sausage. These are excellent. You get three packs of five in there, so they're easy to freeze. But my kids just love these. We just slice them up. I love to just put them in a saute pan with some onions and bell peppers. They're just, they're really good. And the pineapple gives it a really good sweetness. And the ingredients are not even that bad. So, I I don't know. It's something that we don't buy all the time, but it's definitely we pick it up every once in a while because we all really like that. We were out of lotion, and this is our favorite, the Aveeno, and it just happened to be on sale, which is great because we needed some. So I didn't even know it was on sale. I went ahead and picked up some hot dog buns for those hot dogs. And coming around, so this is the first time I have bought this Kirkland sliced oven roasted turkey breast. I was, so I'm not sure how I'm going to like it. We will see. I noticed that the cuts were a little bit thicker, which I usually like than the super thin shave stuff. I like that it comes in three packs because two of them I can stick in the freezer. And I was looking at between this and I believe it was the Hillshire Farm Natural that also comes in three pack of turkey breast. But the only difference I could see, they both had no nitrates, was the Hillshire Farm had carrageen in it. Is that how you say that word? I know that's not too good for you. So I just went ahead and picked this up and we're going to give it a try. Hopefully we like it. 
I picked up the Cottonelle Flushable Wipes. I actually usually get the Kirkland brand, but this one was on sale, so it worked out to be actually cheaper. The Kirkland brand does go on sale every once in a while, which makes them a great deal, so I think I need to stock up next time the Kirkland brand goes on sale to last me because we go through quite a bit of these, especially now that my three-year-old is potty trained. So I'm finding we're going through those a little bit faster. These I thought were the best deal. So they had these cute, aren't these cute? They're, you know, swim shorts for boys. I got two in the size 10, 12. Say they're quick drying. But aren't those cute board shorts? So these were on clearance for $5. So my oldest is eight. So he won't quite fit into this maybe for a year or two but really this isn't going to go out of style and we always need swim shorts for the boys because we do a lot of swimming in the summer so for five dollars it just couldn't be beat so I bought these and I love a little pocket on the back and then I bought these I wish they had a smaller size but it was slim pickings for the clearance stuff so I bought these as well super cute I thought that's going to be great for him in a year or two. This is something new I've never seen before at Costco. It looks so good. So I don't know exactly how you say this. Hopefully it's beef bulgogi mandu. So they're extra large dumplings filled with cream salt bulgogi flavor. So we love bulgogi, my husband and I. And these look, I mean, they look like pot stickers to me. So that's kind of what I'm thinking they're going to taste like with bulgogi inside. So we're going to give them a try. They looked really delicious. Q-tips. We needed some Q-tips and they were actually on sale. So that was nice. And this will last us for quite a long time. Butter. I'm getting low on butter and I just like to keep some always in my freezer. So I always have some. So I'm going to throw a couple in the freezer. Ground beef patty, we have some family coming into town, so I think we're going to do hamburgers at least one night. Uh, Kirkland does make a third pound also, but I found for the kids and stuff, the third pound's just way too big. They weren't finishing it, so now we go with the quarter pound, and it's perfect. And then hamburger buns to go with those. This is a new buy for me. A couple people actually commented and recommended this is the tortilla crusted tilapia this is white and flaky fillets with tortilla chipotle and lime crust looks very flavorful when i make fish i do usually do like a parmesan ritz cracker crumb crust that my kids really like so i'm hoping they're gonna like this one too we will give it a try a big old watermelon for that family coming into town we are gonna have six kids here so I figured Costco watermelon is the way to go. I usually don't buy my watermelon at Costco because they're just too big and my kids won't go through it before it goes bad. But I figure with six kids, we have a shot to go through this. All right, back here, I just have some of our favorite chicken and cheese taquitos. If you've seen my hauls, you've seen me haul this many times. We love these and we just got an air fryer, so they are even better right now. I love to buy those little mini guacamole cups from Costco and I stick them in my freezer and just pull one out when we're making these to serve with it. It's great. These organic Z-Bars, it comes with 12 chocolate brownie, 12 chocolate chip, and 12 iced oatmeal. All three are delicious. I especially like the iced oatmeal. But my oldest son loves these. They have snack time at school and school is going back in two weeks. So I've been trying not to buy this summer so much of the pre-packaged, pre-portioned things like this. And I was doing really well, but now school's going to be back and he's going to need some stuff to bring with him for snacks. So I went ahead and picked those up. And these are kind of pricey. They're almost $20 for this box. So it's definitely a treat. Picked up, I believe this is 10 pounds, just 10 pounds of the frozen chicken breast. I love these. They're not individually packaged, but they are... They never stick together, so they're super easy to get out. You can actually cook them from frozen, even if need be. They're wonderful. This one's on sale. We've never purchased these before. 
I am actually thinking, I'm thinking my husband will like these, but I'm hoping the kids will like them. Maybe just throw like three or four in their lunch boxes and, you know, get a little almond, get a little coconut and chocolate as a sweet treat. I am actually not a fan of coconut, which is another reason why I chose these because if this was like caramel or pretzel or something, I would probably eat the whole bag and no one else would get any. So, and these were on sale. So that's why we are trying them as well. This is something, if you've been following me for a while, you know we love these. It is pricey. $10 for this bag. Let's see, 14 ounces. But they are so good. And they're so much cheaper in this big bag than buying the little bags at Target or Sprouts or wherever they sell them. And really, the only ingredients is apples. I mean, it couldn't get any better. They are super crunchy super good i love my whole family loves them so we eat them all and then you get down to the bottom and it has like those you know the little bits and stuff that you don't know what to do with so good on your salad it just gives a little crunch a little sweetness so i mean this isn't something i pick up all the time only because it's so expensive but we all love it for sure now speaking of back to school nothing says school like some peanut butter and jelly, love this peanut butter. You know what I love? My kids love this peanut butter. This is, where's the ingredient list? Hold on, let's find it together. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, ingredients. Peanuts and salt, that's it. No oil, no sugar. Yes, you do have to stir it. I like to keep them in my pantry because I always, like right now, I just opened one and I have one more in my pantry still. So this will make three in my pantry because I like to keep stocked up because we do a lot of peanut butter jellies. I'll do a huge round of like 50 peanut butter and jellies for the freezer. That way I'm not making a sandwich every day. But if you store them upside down, most of the oil goes to the bottom, which makes it a little bit easier to stir. So when you flip it over to stir it, the bottom, the oil stays at the bottom and you're not getting an explosion of oil coming off the top. So just a little tip for you, if you're getting the natural peanut butter, store it upside down. And then you guys have seen me haul this many times. My kids love this. Every once in a while, Costco will go a few months without and it breaks my heart because nothing's a better deal. It's just delicious. This is my kid's favorite by far. So I am trying to keep, I know you guys probably think I'm crazy, but three in my pantry. So I have one in my fridge and I have two in my pantry. So this will be the third and I'm just going to keep buying them every time I use them. I mean, they're good for, you know, till, let's see, October 2019. So we have it over a, year, over a year, but we we go through this a lot. Not only with peanut butter jelly, with toast, everything like that. It's just, it's a favorite in this house. All right, this huge five pound thing of ground Himalayan pink salt. I usually buy the grinder, but this was such a better deal. And my husband was just saying how he likes this better because sometimes with the grinder, it actually comes out too thick sometimes. You get this big chunk of salt. And this also will be easy. Like if I'm needing to use in a recipe, I can measure it out. So I'm excited. I just have to figure out a you know, get a salt shaker or something to keep handy so I'm not having to take out this whole five pound thing every time I need a little pinch of salt. So we'll figure something out there. Last but not least, these ultimate fish sticks. These are amazing fish sticks. There's a lot of fish in there and then some breading. Not like if you get the cheap ones and it's all breading and you're like looking, is there fish in there? Like this tiny little bit. So these are wonderful. My kids love them. And now with the air fryer, we have not tried these yet because we just got it, but I am super excited because they already loved them as is. So I know they are going to love them even more. So I will probably, I know school starts in two weeks, but probably have to go back one more time a little closer to school to buy a couple more items. And then I will be doing a huge freezer section or session I should say of sandwiches and different things and if you would like to see that video leave a comment down below and I can film that for you guys when I'm getting all the stuff ready for back to school I'm excited they're excited everyone's excited for back to school so two more weeks so 
Make sure you are subscribed because I will be posting another video here shortly going to Costco again. Thank you for joining me and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.